Hello, what's up? This question reads that there is a rectangular plate of mass capital M with dimension A into the plate is held in horizontal position by striking N balls uniform each of mass small m per unit area per unit time. These are striking in stated half region of the plate. The balls are colliding elastically with velocity v. What is v? It is given that n equals to 100 m equals to 3 kg, small m equals to 0 0.01 kg, v equals to 2 meter, a equals to 1 meter, g equals to 10 meter per second square. So first of all, we need to know the key concept here, which is dot denoted by tau. Tau is the amount of energy that rotates a body about an axis. So tau equals to we can write that r vector plus a vector, which is equals to r f sine theta. R is the distance between axis of rotation and applied force, that is capital A. And theta is the angle between r vector and a vector. Now we solve this question. Suppose in time t, capital A number of balls are striking the area capital A. So capital A is the total area of the stated half region of the plate. So in unit time, the number of balls which are striking unit area of the stated region is capital N by A into T, which is equal to small n according to question. So capital N equals to you can say N into A into T. Now we have this horizontal plate. Horizontal plate ka half region that is this stated region. This region mein hi, capital N number of balls ne strike kar raha. They are striking with velocity T and making elastic collision after collision the velocity of the ball is p again so we can say for one ball changing momentum equals to mv minus minus mv because before and after collision the direction of the velocity is opposite so we have two mv and for capital N balls, the change in momentum that is del P equals to 2 mv into capital N. Now the force exerted by the capital N number of balls on the plate is del P by T, which is equals to 2 mv into N by T. So N by T equals to, we can say from this equation, n into a right so this is the amount of force exerted by the balls on the plate now again we draw this horizontal plate and we know this is a and this is b now we divide the plate in two half portions Balls are striking this stated half area. Okay. As the balls are striking it uniformly and symmetrically, we can say the force is being applied in the center of mass of this region. So each direction may a force apply for a high and the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation that is CD and capital A is b by 4 how we get 3b by 4 this is b by 2 and this is b by 4 so b by 2 plus b by 4 so we have 3b by 4 or axis of rotation say b by 2 distance to the weight of the plate is being applied it, that is capital M into G. Now we can say that the torque here about the axis is 0 as the plate is held horizontally and its velocity is 0 that is the plate is stationary. So in the next line we can say weight into perpendicular distance that is V by 2 minus F into 3 V by 4 equals to 0 
mg into p by 2 equals to f into 3 by 4. So b by 2 b by 2 say equation ki tono sides ko agar hum divide kar de to humko milta hai mg equals to f into p by 2. Okay. Now we can write mg equals to f ka value hai 2 mv into capital A into small n into 3 by 2. 2 say 2 cancel out ho gaya. We get v equals to capital mg by 3 m capital A into n. So capital m ka value hai 3 kg. g ka value hai 10 meter per second square by 3 into small m ka value hai 0 0.01 kg. A ka value hai 1 into 2 by 2 because we know that a equals to 1 and b equals to 2 so the half region has a area capital a which is equals to a into b by 2 that is a into 2 by 2 or n ka value hai 100 so 3 say 3 ko hum cancel out kia 0 say 0 ko cut kia so next line mein humko minta hai 2 say 2 bhi cancel out hoga 1 by 0 0.01 into 10 which is equals to 1 by 0 0.1 of 0 0.1 ko 1 by 10 lik sakte hai so p equals to we get 10 meter per second this is our final answer hope you have understood it well and wish of luck